What's good, boys? EA Sports just did us a huge, huge favor in Madden. They gave us zone drops, and I'm really thankful that they did because it has been a long, long time since we've been able to actually lab and practice mode fully. A lot of our testings had to be done in game, had to be done in, you know, just a play now match. So I'm really excited today to share with you some findings about how you can beat 30 yard cloud flats out of the trip side end. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's free to subscribe to the channel. Every single day we post tips and tricks that can help you become a better Madden player. What we're trying to do here on the channel is become a better Madden player every single day and share what we learn with you guys. So if you want to get all the latest content, hit the subscribe button. Also, if you're looking to take your game to the next level, I'd really encourage you to consider joining my Patreon membership. It's only $10 a month, and it unlocks all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides. We've got 20 over 20 ebooks right now. The other cool part about it is every single week we update it with new twists, new tricks, new tips, new things that we find as we need to. Whenever something's patched, we update the guides for you. So you're not only going to get access to the guides, but you're also going to get access to a very updated version of all the ebooks. Just dropped a major update the other day about the bunch tight end defense, which is absolutely insane. And I'm dropping a trips tight end defense in the Patreon membership tomorrow. And I'm really excited about that because I actually played somebody that was running that today and ended up holding them to, I think, seven points uh, over the course of four quarters. So really, really fun stuff, really good stuff in the Patreon if you want to check it out. There's a link in the description. My Trips Titan ebook is in there as well. And it's going to be getting an update shortly because of the fact that we just got this new feature in practice mode where we can actually show you how to glitch out zone drops. So I'm really excited about it. So let's jump in. Um, I wanted to talk specifically today about how you can deal with 30 yard cloud flats and really Mabel coverage. Um, my first video on this, and we're going to be doing a lot more on zone drops. And I'm really excited to have this in practice mode. So let's jump into it. We've got Mike Blitz 3 booted up, we've got Tampa 2, and we got Cover 4 show 2. So let's get it. The uh, couple plays I want to have in my audibles to teach from today, we're going to be talking about curl flat. Uh, we're also going to be talking about uh, X spot, which is what we're just going to come out in. X spot is probably one of my favorite, favorite plays. Honestly, the more I look at it, the more I study it, the more I love it. And I really am thinking about leaving the New England book so that I can run X spot because this post route to triangle is much better now, especially that you have better route running. Um, you do need good route running for this, so I'm actually going to go ahead and put um, Mike Evans there. I'm going to put Mike Evans, um, Mike Evans there so that I just have a little bit better route running. Put Scotty Miller on the outside. But anyways, let's go over this play and how we can use it to glitch 30-yard clouds. So how do you beat 30-yard clouds? A couple different ways, a couple different tricks that you can use. The first thing that I want to show you is something out of PA Counter Go that you can do that I think is really, really effective. And that is to basically hug your PA Counter Go exactly as you normally would. Now this is a five out setup. So you see here, I've got my you know kind of standard concept here, but I'm gonna go against the 30 yard cloud. Now, uh, most people, if they know what they're doing, they're gonna put a cover two on the right. That's gonna help them defend that a lot better. And, uh, but anyways, what we're gonna show you real quick here is if they're in Mike Blitz three, what you can do with this is you can actually put your running back on a ghost route. And what you can notice when I put my running back on a ghost route, you're going to see that that cloud flat will basically freeze, and I can now throw it to the sideline. I'll show that a little bit. That was a little bit of a poor example. You did see it kind of freeze. But this was something that we were doing last year. It's something that carries over into next-gen Madden, and I'll show you exactly how it works. So, again, if they're dropping, you know, again, you're going to be in a situation. You're like, why would you call... Why would you call the setup? Well, you know they're dropping they're dropping everybody into coverage, right? So you don't really have to worry about pressure is what I'm getting at. But anyways, we'll show it to you again. So if I'm in PA counter go, set my play up, and then I'm just gonna put that running back on a ghost route. If you don't have a ghost route, use an option route, and typically that will work just fine as well. But what you'll see is again, I can pass it just hard to the outside, and you see that it can kind of sneak it in on the sideline against a 30 yard clap. Now the problem is, and this is where, again, experienced defenders are gonna be able to kind of manipulate you with this, but basically what they'll do is they'll play a cover two on the right side. So it looks like this. This is a much better coverage shell for this situation. And I'll show you that the same thing that beats a cover three when it comes from the safety against the cover, um, against the, um, the cover two with the 30 yard cloud. It's gonna play a little bit better. So you'll see right here, um, he actually hangs with it all the way and he's able to take it away. 
So we're gonna show you how to get over that in just a second, but that's kind of part A of the video. Now, uh, I wanna show you how to do this on the left side as well. This is where Xbox comes in and why Xbox is one of my favorite plays right now. So a lot of times if they're gonna Mabel you, they're gonna play that cover two on the right, but they're definitely gonna, they're not gonna play cover two on the left. And the reason why is because of the fact that they know that they can get bombed. So they're gonna play kind of a cover three Mabel. Well, if they play a cover three Mabel on the left side of the field, um, this is a little bit easier to beat. We're just gonna simply streak the slot receiver. And uh, what you're gonna see here is that this corner route is going to get open on the sideline against a 30 yard cloud so it's a really good route for beating 30 yard clouds because again we got that hitch or that suck in route that's going to do a really good job i'll show you a way you could do it if you're a guy that likes the new england playbook i'll show you a way that you can do it then um, from new england as well so again i got my 30 yard clouds out there i'm going to go to pa slot corner and i'm going to hitch that inside slot that's going to hold that cloud on that hitch and you'll see he'll sit right there now the sideline is a lot more open. I can throw it to the outside pass lead, and I'm able to beat the coverage that way. So those are a couple of key ways and key factors for how you can deal with the 30-yard clouds when they're coming from the safeties or the nickel corners or something like that from a cover three show. Now we're going to talk about how you can deal with a 30-yard cloud from a cover two show, which is significantly more effective. And basically what you're going to want to do I'm gonna audible over here to the Tampa two. We're gonna set up a little, uh, little Mabel cover three Mabel uh, type of defense. So it looks kind of like this, uh, maybe with a little three wreck over here on the right. But this is where we're going to uh, use this really cool motion at a trip side in. And we're just gonna motion this guy to the left and you're gonna see that it's gonna stack him right behind the tight end in kind of a compression type set. If you wanna smart route this route, you certainly can. Now this route does need time to develop. So that's why I like to block my tight end on this play. So I'm gonna be blocking my tight end here. And the, what I like to do with this is fade Scotty Miller, slant uh, Chris Godwin. And then with the running back, you can do a couple of different things. You can put him on an in route. You can put him on a, I like to put him on a ghost route if I can. If you don't have a ghost route or if you're worried about man coverage, put him on an out route so you see you can do just simple reads. So that's your kind of your first read. But then secondly, you're gonna see that if they fall asleep at the wheel, this is gonna get over the top of a 30 yard cloud for an absolute laser, even on the short side of the field, which I think is super, super cool uh, from this. I'll show it to you again, and then we'll show you how to get over the top of it on the opposite side uh, here in just a second. So again, there's your 30 yard cloud. Um, it doesn't matter, like they're not gonna baseline because you have that guy out here, but it doesn't matter if they baseline it at all. Um, another thing you could do if you wanna use that, that little hitch, you can streak um, Godwin as your runoff route. The problem is you're gonna be a little bit weak against man coverage in my opinion. So that's why I don't do that. So again, this simple setup right here is very, very good. And you'll see right here, the little slant, little in route. If that's not there, just wait on this. And you see here, I can throw it up and make a nice little catch there. I made a bad, made a bad pass lead. Let me show you that one more time. And again, obviously if they're using if they're using 30 yard clouds, chances are they're dropping eight or nine people in coverage. Most people don't run 30 yard clouds if they're not gonna do something like that. So if you do get pressured, you have your tight end blocking and you can just check it down to the other side. So you see, I can just check it down to the running back. Boom, boom, no, okay. Pass lead that up into the outside. And as you can see, I can swerve catch on the sideline for an absolute laser against the cover two defense. Now the second uh, thing that I wanna show or teach is the same exact motion, except this is gonna help us beat the cover two to the opposite side of the field. And this motion, um, or this this concept comes to us, um, this concept comes to us out of the play curl flat. And uh, how we're gonna set this up is we're going to block our tight end. I really think it's important that you block your tight end. Okay, then we're going to um, motion Mike Evans to the left to the left so that he goes into that stack alignment so it looks exactly like X bot now you're gonna fade him and then from there um, I like to smart wrap the post but you don't have to it'll still get over the top if you don't um, and then there you have kind of some options you can leave this backside curl if you want to leave the backside curl what I typically like to do on the back side of this is actually put um, the outside receiver Scotty Miller into a hitch or a, zig, or a, or a smoke screen or a zig so you see it looks kind of like this or if you wanted to you could set up a combo that looks like this so you could either have it set up like this or you could have it set up like this if you really want to get fancy then you can put this guy in a ghost and put this backside guy in a smart routed dig 
that's a pretty nice little combo as well. So anyways, what I'll show you in this video though, because we want the user to kind of pull, we want the user to have to pull to the running back, um, which is gonna open everything up. So anyways, here you go. Got that running back right there. If I can, if they go to that, then I can wait on this, pass lead that to the right. And as you can see, we're able to get over the 30 yard cloud. The cool, other cool part about this is that you do this with both receive or two different receivers. So they can't tell and they can't key in on one player because it can go both ways. So this is one of my favorite, favorite concepts whenever my opponent is running zone drops, 30 yard clouds. I wanna thank you for watching this video. If you wanna get my full ebook on this offense or all of my ebooks in general, Join our Patreon, it's only $10 a month. We're actually gonna be working on doing some exclusive content for you guys, uh, like Q&A form, where we basically kind of get into the lab together, lab sessions essentially, and um, I'm really excited about that. That's gonna be coming uh, probably in the next, uh, at least week or two, probably two weeks. Um, I'm gonna get all that dialed in, get all that hard, or the tech set up for that. Uh, so I'm really excited about that because it's gonna be literally live lab sessions. Uh, where we're going to walk you through exactly what's going on. Um, so I would really in, encourage you to join the membership. It's only ten dollars a month. Last but not least, guys, if you want to if you want to stay up to date on everything that's going on in my community when I go live on Twitch, whenever I post a new video, whenever we put an update on the Patreon membership, check out the Discord. It's completely free to sign up for the Discord, and it just keeps you abreast of everything. And also, it allows you to chat with the rest of our community and uh, help each other get better at Madden 22. So if you want to check that out, it's a link in the description. I'll be live on Friday morning at 10 a.m. Eastern over on Twitch.tv slash Cody Ballard YT. So be sure to go hit that with a follow. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get our membership, it's only $10 a month. There's a link to sign up in the description.